name's uh, Father Sean Gilbert and I'm a deacon in Chichester Diocese. I went uh, to secondary school and primary school, Church of England schools, and my father and grandfather are priests. So as you can imagine, I sort of came from a very sort of churchy uh, background. Uh, but I tried to get away from that a lot from my life and it wasn't really for me. Uh, you know, I thought I was one of the cool kids at school, but I wasn't. Um, and uh, it took uh, God to take me all the way to Madagascar uh, for me to get my vocation uh, into literally the dust and uh, it was in a church out there, uh, one of the only churches we've been to, where I had my vocation from God uh, in Isaiah 41 verse 8, where it says, I have called you uh, my servant, do not be afraid, I will hold you up in my victorious right hand. And it's one of those thunderbolt moments that people have, uh, you know, a lot of people gradually go to the, we know these things, but for me it was, that was the moment. Uh, but I didn't tell anyone about it for about, three or four months. <laughs> I wanted to be an actor when I went to university, so it's a, a, a bit of a change. Not too much of a change, but a bit of a change. And so uh, that's how my vocation came about. To be ordained as a deacon, it involves uh, going to retreat beforehand, and so there's uh, lots of silence, lots of prayer. I do the rosary every day as part of my preparation, and always praying um, that my heart is ready, as the psalmist says, my heart is ready, O oh God. And so that was the preparation stage before my ordination as a deacon. Uh, there was a lot of the day that was, uh, when it came to the actual day, that was uh, not really doing much, so I was waiting tentatively. Uh, so I was building up, I was getting quite nervous. But once it, the moment happened, uh, I knew this is what I was meant to do, this was my purpose, and it was a real fulfillment moment. And you know, as part of my vocation says, do not be afraid. And I knew that God was holding me in his right hand at that time. And that, you know, this is what I was called to do. Uh, I mentioned before that I uh, wanted to be an actor. And part of, uh, you know, that has really involved with the church as well. There's lots of smells, there's lots of, there's taste, there's all different kinds of things that are going on within the church that are part of uh, being, you know, the part of that drama, the real drama of liturgy as well that is so sacred to uh, part of the Catholic life in the church. And so that's uh, something that has been really special to me, that I can be involved in that. Well, I would hope to encourage lots of young vocations. I began when I was only 19, and within the church there was a lot of people who said, uh, you might be too young to do that, or you might be uh, not ready to do it. But if you have that calling, if you have that moment where you think that God is calling you to this ministry, take it up and say yes, just as Mary said yes to God, because she was only young as well. And it's, you know, it's good that we have young vocations within the, within the church so that the church can carry on to do its work.